All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you with my July 2015 update video for, you guessed it, July 2015. Woo. So yeah, as I always do with my monthly update videos, I got a lot of stuff to talk about. I got some uh, youtube -y stuff as well as personal life stuff. And in addition to that, it's also my 200th vlog. So in my previous vlog, I opened the floor up to you guys for uh, any questions that you may have for me. And uh, I'll be answering those questions at the end of this vlog, so stay tuned for that. But first, we have YouTube -y updates. And I got my notes off here to the side. I got my little clicker here because I'm so fancy. <laughs> So here we go. All right, starting off with the YouTube updates. Um, first off, I gotta apologize for the uh, delayed videos and whatnot for not only my Andy San channel, but for my side channels as well. My uh, Let's Play channel known as Andy Cade and my collab channel with my best friend Eric, also known as the Talking Dogan, known as Flopimation. So uh, the reason behind the delays was mostly due to building my new desktop PC, which is off to the side over here rendering a video, so that's probably why you're hearing all the whirling of the fans and whatnot, so, um, anyway, yeah, um, I recently built my very first custom-made, uh, PC from the ground up. It was, uh, very daunting at first, but after I got some, uh, some advice from friends and stuff like that helping me out, uh, it was pretty much, pretty, uh, pretty easy to put together, so, um, really glad that I got it up and running and it is now officially up and running so um, yeah the reason behind behind the delays and stuff was just because I was so busy getting this thing together and I wanted to start rendering videos on uh, my new desktop rather than on my laptop so I just wanted to kinda get this thing up and running before I started making more videos and uh, now that's up and running um, I'll be resuming schedule for uh, my uh, videos and stuff like that so uh, first impact anime um, we'll resume its regular schedule uh, next week. So, um, actually, right now I'm rendering the uh, tenth episode of uh, the season of First Impact Anime. So, it's kind of funny how that works. It'll uh, resume its normal schedule next week, not this week. So I have time to uh, catch up on episodes and things like that. But it's a really good one. I think you guys will like it. For uh, this Fourth of July out here in Japan. A um, couple friends and I got together at uh, Yo Yogi Park, did a little YouTube collaboration stuff like that for uh, some jelly wrestling and stuff like that. So um, you know, I, I wasn't personally je jelly wrestling, but um, a bunch of other YouTubers were. I mean, the it was just kind of a, uh, a last minute thing, the whole jelly wrestling thing. So uh, I didn't know about it, so I didn't I didn't bring an extra pair of shorts or anything like that. So, uh, but I got a lot, of, a lot of other YouTubers who are out there uh, wrestling in the jelly. So uh, that's going to be coming out the pipes very soon. But I have to be very careful about my editing to make sure there's no uh, slip ups, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> got to be careful about that. You know. So next on the list is book reviews, and this is something I've been really wanting to do with my channel for a long time. Um, for those of you who've tuned into my channel for a while, you'll know that I had a series a while back called War, which is Wednesday Album Review, where basically like every week I review a new album of music that comes out and stuff like that. And uh, it was going pretty well, but uh, when I joined the Navy I kind of stopped doing it just because I really didn't have the time to sit down and, uh, you know, dedicate that much time to review an album and stuff like that. So, um, with book reviews, I kind of want to bring it back in some fashion, you know, kind of bring back the the spirit of uh, Wednesday album review, but in more of a book form. So, uh, that might be something that I'll make into a regular series, and maybe like a semi-regular series, I'm not quite sure yet. It's very formulative at the moment. So, uh, but definitely I do want, I do want to do uh, two books uh, by my friends uh, Grace and Ryosuke, otherwise known as Texan in Tokyo. So as you guys know, I did a review of her first book, but I never got around to doing her second or her third book, and her third book just recently came out, by the way. So um, I've been meaning to get to it, but uh, I just kind of lost track of it with the schedule and random things that come up. So it is what it is, but I am definitely working on it. So. You know, stay tuned for that. 
Um, I only got a limited amount of time left in Japan, which we'll get to later, but um, I am definitely looking forward to uh, collabing with more YouTubers in the future. And uh, we got some plans and stuff set up in the works for uh, some future collabs. So uh, I can't really talk about it right now just because it's still very, uh, very formulative. And it's still in the planning stages, so I can't really promise anything just yet. But uh, there are plans in the works for collabs, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> and uh, I'm also looking forward to doing uh, collabs when I get back over to the States because um, basically when I first started off on YouTube, I was pretty much the only one that did it that, that I knew of. You know, my friends weren't really into the whole YouTube thing. I mean, I mean, they liked watching the videos, but they weren't into like making their own videos. You know, so I was basically like the YouTube guy among my friends. But uh, the game's changed since uh, since I joined the Navy, and it's been five years since I've you know lived back in Ohio, Michigan. So um, I'm hoping that there is more of a YouTube scene out there, and you know maybe we'll start some collabs and stuff. But you know, that's just you know future talk. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. So um, as I said. Uh, with the building of my desktop, I kind of had to put a lot of things on hold, Andy K being one of them, um, just because I was dedicating a lot of my time to building this guy. So, um, and one of the main reasons I wanted to to, uh, to make a desktop as opposed to get like a new laptop with upgraded stuff is just because um, I wanted something with a little more power, a little more uh, power for uh, making videos and stuff like that, as well as uh, streaming. So. That's definitely something I want to do in future Andy Kate episodes. And uh, currently, I only have like a couple, uh, couple stream videos up at the time of this recording. But uh, I definitely want to stream more on Twitch and you know export it over to YouTube as well for archival purposes and things like that. But also, I'm I'm looking forward to hearing from uh, from you guys, seeing what you guys have to say about it, because. I don't know, like, there's a lot of uh, different directions I can take Andy Kate. You know, I can continue to do the whole uh, Let's Play thing that I've been kind of doing. Uh, but I also want to incorporate uh, live streams as well. Uh, maybe I can find some, uh, some, you know, happy medium or like some good middle ground involved. I'm, I'm not quite sure yet. But uh, I'm definitely looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say in the comments below in the boobdy boobs. So <laughs> I'm all ears. In Japan during the summertime, there's a massive rainy season that happens between like June and July. So thankfully, um, that's starting to come to a close. So it should start wrapping up either this week or next. So um, it's kind of put a damper on my outside video making. So I apologize if. There's been a lot of, you know, inside videos, but, you know, the weather hasn't been too, uh, too kind for outside video making, so, yeah. <laughs> but that should be changing very soon, so I hope to resume uh, more uh, outside videos as well. I know a lot of uh, people, you know, when they hear about people making money online or, you know, when they make videos, you know, getting YouTube money and stuff like that. It's considered kind of taboo to talk about that kind of stuff. Because it makes you seem like a sellout or, Oh, he only does the videos for money. You should do it because you love it, not just for money. But the reality of the situation is, um, I've been doing the YouTube thing for almost 10 years now. I love doing YouTube, don't get me wrong, I love doing YouTube, I love interacting with you guys, and the reason that I want to, um, you know, start uh, making an income from my videos is, you know, not to be super rich or to get some kind of level of e-celebrityism or anything like that, I mean, that's okay, but that's, that's not the goal here. So the goal is to basically, um, create a, uh, I guess, to make a living off of making videos and stuff like that. So that's that's the ultimate goal. I mean, obviously, I'm a little uh, far off the mark at, at the moment, but um, that's something I'm definitely going to be working on in the future and in uh, future videos and stuff like that. And that's kind of just been my goal for a while, so that way... You know, if I can make a living off of doing YouTube videos, then that will free up time that I would, 
normally dedicate to like a, a nine to five job or something like that, which would help support myself. And I could dedicate that time into making more videos, which is why I wanna make video, why I wanna make money online. So I can, you know, reasonably dedicate more time to making videos because I love making videos. So, I mean, to me that makes sense. Whenever I say that to anybody else, it's like, Andy, you shouldn't do it for the money. You should do it because you love it. You fucking sell out. Eh. But whatever. I, I just wanted to let you guys uh, know where I stand on that. So at least you know. <laughs> so it's not just about the money. It's just, you know, it's complicated. And I'm probably going to get some shit in the comments for it. <laughs> so, um, kind of going off that though, uh, the last little thing I'll talk about here, uh, YouTube-wise, is uh, changing the direction of uh, my Andy San channel to reflect my future move back to the States. So as you guys know, um, I'm going to be moving back to the States. I'm going to be getting out of the Navy here in a couple months. And uh, what this means is, well, you know, I'm not going to be doing Navy videos anymore. I'm not going to be doing Japan videos anymore. So what are you going to talk about? <laughs> So I guess like, you know, for more long-term stuff, um, I want to, you know, just have my Andy San channels like my personal channel and then just kind of branch out into other channels which are considered a bit more commercially viable, I guess. So there's a lot to do involved with that. So um, there's gonna be uh, some major changes, you know, not just in life, but uh, on YouTube as well. So. Um, I know I'm gonna lose a lot of you guys for it. I know some of you, I know a lot of you guys are just watching me because you know I'm in the Navy, and you know you like to watch the the Navy and the military stuff, and that's cool. You know I, I'm okay with that. I accept it. And then there's some of you who only watch me for my Japan stuff, and I know you know some of you might leave because oh hey he's not in Japan anymore. <laughs> and you know as much as I don't like that. It's simply a reality I have to accept, so, you know, it is what it is. And uh, I hope that you guys do continue to uh, tune in to my future adventures back in the States and going back to college. So, um, and speaking of personal stuff, <laughs> let's get into the personal stuff. Yeah, there's not much to talk about personal-wise. Um, I am feeling a, a lot better uh, emotionally, you know, mentally, physically, stuff like that. Um, there are room, there is some room for improvement, but for the most part, you know, I am feeling, you know, pretty calm and pretty accepting of the fact that, you know, hey, you know, there's, there's a future ahead of, of you know, of me for, uh, for the old Andy Son here, so, um, I'm just basically, you know, focusing on, uh, getting all my ducks in a row and everything like that and getting myself ready for, uh, for college life and for life back in the states and you know post navy life you know all that stuff <laughs> so i'm just doing uh, doing the best i can you know while i'm still out here and uh, i don't have any exact dates at the time of this recording but uh just generally from talking to my ship and stuff like that. Uh, the plan is for me to leave Japan either in August or very early September at the latest. So uh, once I get a more uh, exact date, which will probably be next month, then uh, I'll definitely let you guys know in like an update video or, or something of the like. So uh, before my camera explodes, uh, let's get to the Q&A, huh? So, um, as promised, uh, I'm going to be answering some questions that you guys uh, gave to me. So, let's start off with Cecilia Gooden. And sorry if I butchered your name, I'm not that good with names. <laughs> so, uh, Cecilia writes, Hello Andy, you know I have a question. Uh, what will you miss about the Navy? And I wrote back, There's a lot of things I'll miss about the Navy, but I think the number one thing is the people. That's true. Uh, I've met so many interesting people from all walks of life. A close second to that, though, would be uh, traveling to foreign countries. Can't beat that. <laughs> Next up is Nice Sneak Statsatsky. I don't know who that is. I don't know. 
Um, I've been thinking of joining as an officer after college. What are your opinions on supply officer, surface warfare officer, or any other recommendation? Your opinions will be greatly appreciated. Thanks for your service. So, um, as an enlisted guy, I don't know all the ins and outs, so just kind of keep that in mind. But I did write back and I said, Officers have a much higher quality of life than us blue shirt enlisted folks. <laughs> SWO, which is Surface Warfare Officer, isn't a job per se, but rather a field that encompasses a wide array of jobs. Pretty much if you're on a ship, you're a SWO. And to make things even more confusing, uh, SWO is also a warfare pin that officers strive to get. The enlisted equivalent is ESWAS. And let's see, next up, SUPO, or Supply Officer, is a department head level position, so you won't be on that at least until your second or third tour to be eligible for it. And as far as getting commission goes, I'd say go for it. Uh, it might be harder to go officer than enlisted, but don't let that discourage you. Next up is Astro Boy 3507 my all-time favorite fans. <laughs> Do you ever think you would like to make your future living in Japan? And uh, I wrote back and said, it's still too early for me to say, but I'd love to visit when I can and maybe do like a one to two year stint out here teaching the English to the kiddies. If I would come back for more than a vacation, I want to live somewhere other than the Tokyo, Yokohama area. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it out here, but I want to experience a different part of Japan if I do decide to come back. So I'm thinking of either like Fukuoka, Osaka, Kobe, Kyoto, or even Sapporo, you know, just as a change of pace. Next up, and this is the last question by Dominique Henderson. How does getting your own place work while you're stationed? Do you have to be a certain rank before you can get your own place? And do you live by yourself or with a roommate? So um, I do want to cover this in more detail in a future episode of NFAX. And yes, I am going to be doing a couple more episodes of NFAX. Just saying. <laughs> I don't have a, a timeline for that yet, but it is something I want to do in the future. Anyway, like I said, I want to cover this more in detail on a future episode of NFAX, but I'll give you the Reader's Digest version here. So it varies from place to place, but here in Japan, or more specifically Yokosuka, uh, if you're an E5 or higher, an E4 for four years or more, or if you're married, then you qualify for housing. In Japan, the on-base housing is limited and reserved for families with non-Japanese spouses typically, which is why it's encouraged for single sailors or sailors with Japanese spouses to live off base. There's an application process, but I'll get more into uh, detail with that in a future video. As for me, I used to live with up to uh, three roommates, but uh, the two of them moved out, uh, leaving me with uh, just one roommate. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I try not to feature him in my video just for like, you know, privacy reasons and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, he's a real good guy though. So, uh, I guess that's, uh, that's pretty much it for, the, for this video. So I'm gonna wrap things up before my camera explodes. So yeah, this is the Andy San. Sign up for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to my update video and watch my other stuff. Also gotta thank you guys for liking, for the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later guys, bye.